Finally from us this evening, the trailer parks. They are more likely to be the butt of jokes than objects of appreciation, but there are always exceptions. ABC's Brian Rooney tonight reports on the effort to preserve the golden age of the house trailers in search of America. Some places are historical simply because they're old, some for how they were designed or for who designed them. And then there is the Monterey Trailer Park in Los Angeles. What's historic to Southern California is very different to what's historic to the rest of the country. This is a place where a Bob's Big Boy restaurant is considered historic. 80 years ago, the Monterey Trailer Park was what was called an auto park, a place where travelers could park and sleep in a tent or trailer. It's one of the last traces of the golden age of trailering, dating back to the 1930s. Any town is trailer town. Today, a quarter million of these migratory bungalows follow the highways of North America. These were trailers that were beautifully appointed. Phil Noyes is a television producer who made a documentary and wrote a book about trailers, the colorful vacation homes of another time. You could go into a trailer that was built in 1936 and feel like you were in the palace. These were mohair and leather. There were trailers that had servants' quarters in them. John Agnew lived for years in the Monterey Park with his collection of old trailers. He even tried to buy the place. And after it was sold to a new owner, he started the movement to have the park declared historic. There's nothing else out there like, like it right now. That's that old, it has the charm that it has, and it has a lot of the original structures that have pretty much, for the most part, been, been untouched. So the Los Angeles City Council declared a trailer park to be historic, an act which itself is historic. Brian Rooney, ABC News, Los Angeles.